on August 4th, 2013, I was uh, raped at Lollapalooza. I had no idea what their name was. I barely remembered their face. Kate, a UW-Madison sophomore, lives in Chadbourne Residential College and chose to remain anonymous. It got a little overwhelming to the point where I thought I should reach out to my house fellow because I figured they have resources to at least just give me something because I was drowning. Because of mandated reporting procedures, reports were filed following Kate's conversation with her house fellow. However, Kate says she did not feel comfortable going through this process. She had to follow the procedure and that there was nothing else that I could do about it. Revisions to Chapter 17 of UW policy are being made to address criticisms about the way it deals with reports of sexual assault. According to senior Meg Healy, a UW student involved in the revisions, Chapter 17 is a guiding policy for non-academic misconduct, including sexual assault. The chapter includes language about the rights of the perpetrator. According to Healy, there has only been one student that we know of who has been suspended or expelled from UW-Madison after being found guilty of sexually assaulting a student. As far as doing more, I think the administration could do more to challenge rape culture. I think PAVE is a very much untapped resource. Although Kate chose not to press charges against the perpetrator, she believes that the UW could do a better job at letting survivors know what their options are. The main thing for me when it comes to sexual assault is just agency. What it means to empower a survivor to pursue what they want to do versus taking away that control.